So, one of the most important jobs you can do with your garden, for your garden, in spring, is lay a mulch down. Here I've cleared the bed now of, of all the old bits and bobs from, from last summer or last year's growing season. The rest of the orchard, as you can see, I've already laid down a mulch and I did it last autumn, I just didn't get to this bit here. As I said, I believe it's one of the most important jobs you can do in the springtime for your garden. And here are the reasons why. So I've got this thick layer of mulch down here, all over the rest of the orchard beds. And I've got a good couple of inches of mulch. Now the mulch can be any sort of covering really, these are bark chips. It could be seaweed. In the veg garden, I use seaweed. So seaweed is a fantastic mulch. I've got these seaweed on my garlic bed this year. Um, and it's full of nutrients, lots of beautiful trace elements and nutrients, you know, and it will break down. And again, the worms will incorporate it into the, the soil, etc. You have to be careful that it, when it dries out, it will shrink a bit. So you have to normally you have to put a bit more on in summer, but a fantastic um, resource. Uh, there's a video up there now on um, how I use seaweed in the garden and especially mulching and a few of the tips on how to collect it and what to do and what not to do, etc. But seaweed, absolutely fantastic mulch. Oh, actually, I usually use it on my vegetable beds not on my flower beds as a rule, other than around the apple trees, etc. And I do that because obviously it's not as aesthetically pleasing as say bark chips or you know or compost as a mulch. And sometimes it's a bit of a whiff from the old seaweed as it as it breaks down. But um, other than that, absolutely fantastic. But here I've got bark chips. I've got it nice and thick, so you want a mulch to be nice and thick, a good couple of inches worth it, or at least an inch. Um, it's better to have a good thick layer over a smaller area than just waste it with little bits of pitter patter of, of uh, bark chips or, or, or uh, compost or seaweed over a, a wider area. So we've got this, do you know, it's lovely now in spring. I can hear the odd bird singing away now and uh, there are some starlings having a little have a little word with each other, but it's nice to hear that little bird song now starting to chirp up in the mornings, especially now the uh, the lights coming in there. The uh, the birds are getting a bit frisky, I think. Anyway, back to the mulch. So it's better to have a nice thick mulch. So what's it going to do? Well, as we can see here, already it's dry on top, but underneath it's nice and damp. So what we're doing, especially when we're now putting it in in springtime or in autumn time there's been you know i've had all winter's worth of of rain and now and snow and now i'm locking the moisture in so underneath this layer of mulch will stay nice and damp and that is good obviously for your plants because it's damper there and they've got more better access to water another thing um as well as locking the moisture in it's shading you know we're keeping the underneath it bit here damper and shadier so it's shading the roots of these plants so they've got a better chance to keep themselves cool and again access that moisture because it's shadier there and that's that's good for the plants too and also especially you know obviously because this is a organic mulch you know your mulch could be uh, these, these uh, chippings, stone chippings that I've got in the path, they're a mulch in themselves, but this being an organic mulch, uh, the bark chippings and the seaweed that I have in my veg beds and also I often put it around my apple trees, you know, as that breaks down, it, it will be broken down, brought under into the earth by the worms and, and you know, the little different creepy crawlies and that's going to feed your plants as well and it also encourages biodiversity so 
the mulch, you've got all the little critters inside, underneath, and that is the, the biodiversity, all the different pl um, pl uh, fungi, as well as, um, as, well as your insects, etc. That is gonna feed your plants, help your plants. So again, mulch, five or six different ways it's gonna help your plants to grow better in the summer. Good thick mulch. So I'm going to uh, lay that mulch down now onto my bed that I haven't done it in and uh, let's have a look at it afterwards, shall we? So a nice thick mulch. I'm going to start at the back and just keep going until I've... Try and... Uh, so all your different sort of plants that I've got here, I want to lay the mulch around it it doesn't matter if you've got it over the herbaceous, they're still going to grow up around it, but always good to have it nice and thick around there. So, oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention, weeds. It suppresses weeds. So that thick mulch is going to prevent light getting to the actual weed seed, so you're going to have less weeds in your garden. So again, that's less work. Fantastic. More time to admire the flowers. Right, let's get amongst this then. Less chatting, more working. And there we are. Job done. All the area nice, nicely covered now. It's a beautiful, balmy, sunny evening now in uh, in, in late March, I couldn't be happier. The area is all completely covered, as you can see. Still got some, I've got some nice herbaceous plants, different daisies and things starting to come up now already. And, and uh, we spoke about, <clears throat> there's a few little daffodils, etc., poking their heads through. Job done. This is gonna set this bed up really nicely now for the rest of the, uh, the spring and the summer. It's going to lock in the moisture, it's going to feed the soil, which will in turn feed the plants. It will keep down the weeds, keep the plants cool. Jobs are good. So that's another job ticked off my list of uh, spring jobs to do this week. Tomorrow I'm going to be moving a, uh, a fruit tree. Springtime uh, or late winter early spring before they, they, uh, the sap rises and they start to bud is a really good time to be moving shrubs and trees and, and fruit trees etc. So let's uh, take the opportunity tomorrow and I'll, uh, I'll take you through that with me. Hope to see you there.